Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. It's eerily quiet in the barn. It's been a while since I've been in here. Man, I miss my wall of Octominers. <laughs> they used to be just straight across and on and mining, but most of the GPUs that I have here are, are not on. Actually, these are 3060s. I should really turn these on in mine Dynex or something. But anyways, this video, I mainly wanted to bring over some mining rigs to my other mining location. And it's gonna be my four 6600 XT mining cave tower. You guys may remember these GPUs. And you know, I thought to myself, I believe I should turn these on because these are probably okay for mining something. Maybe not very profitable per se, but I'm willing to, you know, pay for the electric for these GPUs for what they are able to, you know, mine, which can be very efficient on some algorithms, which I do want to test out in this video and just, just a few and just see what the profitability would be like. But if it's not good, you know, at least breaking even, I will, I will still keep it on because I guess we'll see what the total power consumption is going to be for, I guess, 24 6600 XTs in my mining cave tower. I miss this thing, but yeah, this should really bode well for my new mining location as uh, open air rigs should be just awesome. Just a quick update in case some people were wondering, you guys are seeing the barn here. It's, it's been a while since I've been here and yes, I do miss it. And for anyone asking, I know some people were wondering, Red and I know you have the mining barn here and I do have some power, yes, two 30 amp, 240 volt circuits. Able to utilize about what, 48 amps, you know, 80% rule for two 30 amp circuits. Summer is coming and the temperature is kind of warming up and so I will be later on, I'll be wiring up this ubiquity bridge that will connect to my other crypto mining basement. So it's a good couple hundred feet away. As most of you know, I was hotspot mining in this location for quite a while. And uh, now I've canceled that membership because I was paying $100 a month for nothing as I wasn't using the hotspot for the past, you know, six months. And so I was paying $600 or $700 in total just for that 4G or 5G hotspot. So it's best I stop paying for it. And now I should really run this. So when it gets clear outside, a little bit warmer, I'm going to run some cable, network cable, and not only for uh, the barn here for the outside or for the other side of the bridge, but then I'll have to run cable for uh, the other side uh, for the basement uh, to run the network for over here. So when that time comes, I will have a dedicated video vlogging about this. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, let me move all of these 6600 XTs, my mining cave tower, to my other mining location. I'll see you guys over there. All right guys, here's the mining cave tower. I placed it in my open air other rigs here at my other mining location here. I just love this. All the banners and flags here. I wish I had more room to put them up, but uh, soon I will be cleaning up my garage here. I have actually been cleaning up already. I threw out a lot of boxes and I'm essentially going to put a lot of shelves here so that I can put mining rigs along here and then I'm going to be running like conduit and 240 volt 30 amp circuits. I don't know maybe in the ceiling or just all across here and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes when uh, I clear this out. Still a work in progress but in the meantime going to be having the mining cave tower here for now, I plugged in all the cables, C13 to C14 cables into this Rondi slash Brian Hollywood amazing baller Eaton PDU 
this thing shows the exact power consumption at this little screen here, I'll show you guys. Look at this, right now it shows active power, 2,431 watts. Another great thing is I can see each section because there's two banks on this PDU, A and B. So if I scroll down here, it's gonna be 2,400 watts usage right now on this bank for all of this stuff here. These five open air mining rigs, 3070s, uh, 3060 Ti's, 3060's, another 3060 Ti rig, and uh, of course the network switch takes a little bit of power as well, so that's all on one bank. Then I have on this one bank here all the Mining Cave 6600 XT GPUs, all here. I just, I love these GPUs, man. So, one thing I thought of doing something fun, instead of just mining whatever is most profitable, I was thinking of doing a fun test of mining a different coin on each of these rigs. So I decided, and you guys can, if I get enough people commenting if I should mine a different coin, but here's my thoughts. I'm gonna mine Caspa, I'm gonna mine Radiant on another rig, I'm gonna mine Ravencoin on one, and then I'm gonna mine Neoxa on the fourth one. So those four coins, Caspa, Radiant, Ravencoin, and Neoxa, those four coins, I wanna do some, you know, uh, like a theoretical test. We'll see how much coins we mine every month. Uh, I wanna come back to it and, you know, we'll see how much they're worth month to month. And, you know, when that bull run comes around, we're gonna see which rig would, would have been the best coin to mine. You know, it's just something fun to do just to see whether or not, you know, it was a good idea to mine this coin or that coin. But actually, I wish I had maybe two more 6600 XT rigs I could stack on top of here so that I could do another two coins to add on to that and uh, you know just see in the next bull run how those six coins that I could mine could bode well. So I'm actually looking for 12 more 6600 XTs and this is a call out. Does anybody want to trade six 5700s? These are MSI Mech 5700s for six 6600 XTs. Let me know down below, anybody that's interested in doing that trade, let me know. I don't know if that's an even trade or not, you guys can let me know down below. Okay, I need to do something real quick. I need to reformat all these SSDs because the Hive OS versions on all of these rigs are pretty old as I booted one and I'm like, I don't know, like a thousand versions behind. It's been a while since these have been on, since the Ethereum merged. So it's been, yeah, a good, I don't know, six or seven months that these have been off. So I'm just gonna reformat the SSDs, get a the latest version. And uh, I mean, I could have done a Hive replace on those, but uh, I just wanna do a brand new, just a brand new format on these with the Hive OS, latest Hive OS image, okay? So give me one sec and then we'll turn on the 6600 XTs. All right guys, they're all connected. I still need to make the wallets, flight sheets and whatnot. I was actually thinking of doing a virtual machine so I can manage just, you know, all the wallets for these four different rigs that we're gonna mine with, you know, the Caspa, Radiant, Ravencoin, and Neoxa. So those four coins I'm gonna put on one VM so I can just manage the crypto just to keep track for these four rigs. Okay, now let me take a, just a quick, Let's just see how much power we're using. So on bank A, which is all the 6600 XTs, utilizing about 290 watts right now, idle. All right, so I just wanted to get that and then uh, once I start mining on all of them and then I wanna like do the delta against Hive OS, what's reported in the software because uh, these are not Octa miners, so I can't get the exact power consumption, but uh, we can generally see, I'll just do the delta between what we see in the software and at the PDU, and then we can just gauge based on that. And then, uh, but anyways, I will see you guys in the computer. I gotta set up all the overclocks, flight sheets, wallets, and uh, set up a VM, all that stuff. I'll show you guys that in a sec. Okay, here is one of my virtual machines I'm using just on a desktop. I will have actually all of my servers up pretty soon, so I'll be able to offload this off the desktop, the Hyper-V thing I'm using here. Normally I use uh, ESXi, but in this case, I'm just using Hyper-V in Windows as uh, just to have a virtual machine to run these, you know, core wallets. So you guys can see here the Raven Core Wallet, KDX for Caspa, Electron, and Neox all in one. These are all done syncing. I got all the addresses already. As you guys can see here, it is uh, all in my wallets, which you guys can see here publicly if you would like. Made all the flight sheets in Hive OS here. Had a lot of fun time. 
<laughs> just setting it all up. Uh, I didn't have any special parameters. You guys can see here. These are all AMD cards, right? So have uh, one rig for Tower 01, 02, 03, 04. And you can see all the different coins are mining. Caspa, Radiant, Ravencoin, Neoxa. And if we go back to workers, you can see here that they are all mining. Had a lot of fun configuring each and every one. But uh, here, in case everyone wants to see, let's go to Tower 01 first. I am mining on magicpool.co, mining Caspa on here, and we're just gonna see. Yeah, right here, here's the rig. Looks like it's showing up just fine. And uh, I reason why I chose magicpool.co is because their fee right now, their pool fee is 0.01. PPLNS. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to give it a try and uh, help this decentralize the network hash rate for Caspa a bit, which uh, I think a lot of people should do as well and probably uh, get off Wooly Pooly a bit. But uh, yeah, this rig getting about almost 1.9 giga hash or 1900 mega hash. Here are the overclocks I'm using for this rig. I'm using memory clock one. And uh, yeah, I did that setting because I wanted to see if that would work without using this uh, special command. And it did work. Right. If I didn't do mem one, if I did like 1000, it would then use about 60, 55 watts or something. So I'm, I am using efficient overclock settings for the 6600 XTs, thanks to hashrate.no. But now going to the second rig here, guys, Radiant. Okay, here, same thing. These are my settings that I'm using for these GPUs because these ones have Micron and we're getting yeah, 466.2 mega hash at about 44, 45 watts. And I'm mining them to viper.net. Okay, you guys can see I've already mined almost 217 uh, Radiant and just started obviously. So in like a month, I'm actually thinking I'm making another video in a couple days just to do another overview of this another month or every single month i will give an update for each of these each of these rigs so then here's my ravencoin rig as well getting about 16.3 mega hash on the kapow algorithm and yeah this is going to use a little bit more power and this is mining to the two miners.com ravencoin pool you guys can see here almost mined good old two ravencoins so far but uh, yeah, there you go, showing up on the pool just fine. Now the next rig is gonna be Tower 04 for Neoxa. And uh, yeah, 16.5 mega hash as well, around under 60 watts per GPU. And here are my settings, in case anyone wants to see, that's all I'm using. And going back to here's Miner Pool, I'm using on minerpool.pro. Getting Neoxa here and seeing that I've earned about 56 so far. I just started mining, of course, and I'm gonna stick with them because I'm gonna get that loyalty program as well. They're gonna pay out a little bit extra Neoxa, so that, that should be nice as well. So these four pools, we're gonna see how good it's gonna be in the long term. I will do like some, a Google Sheet. We'll keep a track of how much we've mined every month and uh, you know, take a snapshot type of thing and all that good stuff. See what the price is and see how much, you know, we've mined total. And then we will do a comparison, how much it's worth at that time. And then the next month, then we'll do like, an, you know, a interest change percentage difference on each month, month by month, and how much we've earned, all that good stuff. And uh, just overall see which one's been doing well or not doing well, just, just for fun. And I totally forgot to show on the screen, the power consumption at the PDU is showing around 1800 watts. So right now in Hive OS, it's showing 1200. Uh, 1200 watts, 1206. Okay, so for all these rigs together, so there is a good 600 watt delta, and that's a given because AMD GPUs are always under reporting in Hive OS. Okay, so now let's take a look at the profitability for all of these rigs. Lastly, and I inputted everything into hashrate.no for Caspa, Neoxa, uh, Ravencoin, and Radiant. And so at my 11 cent kilowatt hour currently, looks like Radiant, of course, it looks like Caspa is going to be the most profitable for one of those rigs. Okay, so 70 cents a day. But my Neoxa and Ravencoin rig are losing 40 and 60 cents a day after electric. And then my Radiant rig looks like it's, yeah, 48 cents profitable there. So that's really cool to look at. I'm probably going to take note of that in the next video I do about this. And I'll have a Google Sheet all prepared for all of this. Okay, so guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. This test here should be a lot of fun and we'll keep updated with this. Uh, you know, maybe I can add also another rig to this or two if I can get more 6600 XTs later down the road. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.